When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure in a million ways. This can be said of late Mrs. Justina Omaria Barin, who left behind wonderful memories for family members, friends, and loved ones to treasure for a lifetime. Born into the illustrious family of Prince and Madame Tetenu Omashe on the 21st of April 1937, Late Mrs. Esther Justina Omaria Barin was the first among four children of her parents. She began her early education in Wari and Sapele, where she excelled extraordinarily. Due to her willingness for quality education, she was brought to Lagos under the guardian of her auntie, Madame Mugbeyami, who was popularly known as Mama Wari, and was later enrolled into the teacher training college in Lagos. In her pursuit for greatness, young Justina applied to study nursing at the Kikada General Hospital School of Nursing, Scotland, where she came out in flying colors. She completed a three-year course successfully and was awarded the title of Registered General Nurse on the 22nd of July, 1960. Wanting to specialize in midwifery, she proceeded to the top Combe Maternity Hospital, London, on the 31st of December 1961 and was given State Certified Midwife Award. Having completed that, Esther enrolled in a practical postgraduate course in the Operating Theatre at St. Argef Hospital, Vanberg Hill, Greenwich, London, and was certified on the 1st of June 1962. After returning to Nigeria, she got married to her heartthrob, Mr. Bamidili Abiodun Egbarin of blessed memory, on the 25th of July, 1962. The union was blessed with three beautiful children. Late Mrs. Esther Justina Omari Egbarin, with her excellent nursing qualifications, joined the Lagos University Teaching Hospital in Diaraba as a theater nurse, and in 1971, she took up the position of occupational health sister for Vono Product PLC for 20 years before she retired and went back to her preferred career, midwifery. The funeral rendezvous for late Mrs. Esther Justina Omari Barin commenced with a service of songs held in her honor on Thursday, the 12th of July, 2018 at the TBS Banquet Hall, Unicon, Lagos. In attendance were Chief Ayo Adibanjo, among other family members, friends and well wishes of the Egbarin and Omashe families, who turned out in unprecedented number to pay their last respect to Mama Justina. The service featured a series of hymnal renditions led by the choir of the Church of Assumption, Falomo, after which the grandchildren of the deceased took turns to read Bible passages. In the sermon, the assistant parish priest, Church of Assumption, Falamo, Reverend Father Victor O'Hiria, admonished the congregation to be subtle and reflect back on what death truly means. He added that the difference between the dead and the living is the breath of life, as he highlighted various types of death. Reverend Father Victor Uhiria advised the children, grandchildren and family members of Mama Esther Justina or Maria Barin 
not to be saddened by her death, as she has gone to a better place to rest. As the congregation took time to reflect on the sermon, one of Nigeria's talented saxophonists, Bolaji Banjoko, aka BJ Sax, led in a quality present worship session. The vote of thanks by Mr. Obi Ajolo Egbarin, son of the deceased, brought the service to an end. The burial ceremony for late Mrs. Esther Justina Omari Egbarin continued on Friday, the 13th of July, 2018, with a funeral service held at the Church of Assumption, Falamo, Ikui, Lagos. The funeral service began with the procession, followed by the opening prayer, said by Reverend Father Victor Uhiria after which the Bible reading was taken by Mrs. Anne Shubande. In the sermon, the officiating minister described the deceased as a woman of virtue, committed to good works across the country. Reverend Father Victor Uhiria also urged all to live worthy lives always. He enjoined the family members of the deceased not to mourn, but to thank God for the wonderful 81 years late Mrs. Esther Justina Omari Agbari lived. God deems the death of his faithful ones precious because he can now receive them oh, from all the wonders, the storms of life, the pains, the sufferings that they have gone through. Just as every parent would rejoice to receive their children home after a long absence, how much more shall God not rejoice to welcome her daughter Esther back home after 81 years. To bring the funeral service to an end was the funeral rites followed by the recessional hymn as everyone departed for the ebony vaults for the internment ceremony. Guests later converged on the Harbour Point Event Centre, Victoria Island, Lagos, for the grand reception ceremony, where the vintage band lightened up the atmosphere with good music, which saw guests dancing to the beautiful tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
From Biscon Communications, it's farewell to late Mrs. Esther Justina Omaria Barin. May her soul continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen.